Okay, how about when life is a little more complicated? Oh, God. No. No. Uh, oh God, it's gonna so this is a top-down view of a bowling ball and the bowling pin. They look a lot like spheres, both of them, because I can't draw. <laughs> but this is what happens after the collision. So after the collision, the pin goes straight up, and the bowling ball goes off in some direction indicated by angle theta with respect to its initial incident direction. And we're supposed to solve for v final and for theta. Before I start in on this, I want you to think about how you would set it up. So we'll get some practice doing that. I'll just draw the picture. What's my first step after I drew the picture? Elon. Baby. Elon. Yeah, so go back one little step. What's the principle? What's the fundamental? Yeah. Ooh, define a coordinate system. That's another possibility, but let me finish up here. Yeah, so the key principle, the fundamental principle is momentum is conserved in this collision. That's where I want to start. We're going to reason up from first principles. Momentum is conserved. And now we can entertain, yeah, maybe it's a good idea. Maybe we should think about a coordinate system. What would that help me do? Be consistent, OK. How? Yeah, so because momentum is a vector, the incident momentum is in this direction, but we have components of momentum in an orthogonal direction. And conservation means that all three components of the momentum have to be the same before and afterwards. So what coordinate system do you favor? Cartesian, Cartesian OK. <laughs> I'm willing to vote with Descartes. But that still leaves an infinite number of coordinate frames. Yeah? Let's define the positive x direction as the direction of Vinox. Okay, so. The direction of the initial the initial direction of the bowling ball. Something like this? Yes. I like that one. That one is going to be particularly swell because we get rid of the y component of momentum in the initial picture. And our angle theta is measured with respect to one of the axes. That's going to simplify our lives. <coughs> so let's go with that one. So momentum is conserved in symbols. P initial is P final. What is P initial? Well, only the bowling ball is moving. So the momentum should be m v naught in what direction? x, I guess. That one's easy, given our coordinate system. That one's easy. p final isn't so easy, so I need more room. I'm going to start it over here. p final. What if we deal first with? the pin. P final for the, the pin would be, sorry, this is little m. So little m v naught in the positive y direction. Ugh. OK, so now I have, let me reproduce it over here. Here's the angle theta. This is the vector v final. And this component over here would be the y component. 
Is it positive or is it negative? Negative, and how much is it? Big M. Big M. B final. B final. Which trig function is it? So I have, I need this over that, that's sine. That's opposite over hypotenuse. So sine, and that's in the negative y direction. Am I done? No. What's, no, what's left? The x component. So that's plus mv final. And now I need this component. That's the adjacent. So that's cosine theta in the x. Yes, please. Oh, uh, oh, with just the components. Yeah. yeah. So what I'm trying to emphasize here, this thing is a vectorial equation. It's true. I can project along any direction I like. If, if p initial vector equals p final vector, then the component along any random direction has to be the same initial to final. I'm sticking with the vectors up till now to try to emphasize that this is the direct translation of that statement. And now, because a unit vector in the x direction is orthogonal and independent of a unit vector in the y direction, in order for this to equal that, I have to have the same x component and the same y component on both sides. So I will now, in essence, do what you're suggesting, which is to say, in the x, the initial momentum is, so p sub x, the initial we had was m v naught, and that must be equal to big M v final cosine theta. And that drops out. So that's one equation. How many unknowns do I have? Namely, B final and theta. So I need another equation. The momentum in the y direction, I got nothing in the beginning. So 0 has to equal mv0 minus big M v final sine theta. That's equation 2. OK, so two equations, two unknowns. In principle, I should be able to solve. In practice, I think I want to slide this to the opposite side. I want to rewrite the y equation in the form mv0 is equal to big M v final sine theta. Why do I want to do that? Well, I'm, I'm noticing that on the right-hand side, on this equation, that is equation number one, I have a lot of common factors. So if I were to divide these two equations, I could get rid of v final. And if I do that, I get 
m over m is equal to sine over cosine, that's the tangent. So if you like, you can rewrite this. Theta is the arctan of m, little m, the mass of the pin over big M, the mass of the bowling ball. That one was easy. How do I find v final? Hmm? Make a triangle, he says. OK, triangly. So this statement here in triangle land would look like m over m. So the hypotenuse would be that. So if I'm looking to find the final, I could come back to this first equation and isolate v final. So v final is equal to v naught divided by the cosine of the angle theta. But I can read off the cosine of the angle of theta from the triangle. And what is it? It would be adjacent, so big M over that. So V naught, since it's in the bottom, I have to flippy it over. I get square root M squared plus M squared divided by M. Or If I pull the m from the denominator inside to tidy up and get rid of dimensions as much as possible, I get that. 